Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Hypixel Skyblock and today we are going to be talking about the Crystal Allos and how you can make money with it. I promised you guys I'd have a little bit of update content and here's basically what I could come up with from playing around with it and seeing what good money making methods there are. And some of these are actually pretty good and better than just sitting around and you get to explore the new update which is honestly really beautiful. It's one of the coolest updates I've seen in a while even though I'm not a big fan of mining. So, let's join the Crystal Allos. It does cost 10,000 coins to join, but honestly, it's pretty worth it. And, eventually, you'll be placed into the Crystal Allo, or you can just skip the journey using that button. Okay, so let's start with the most obvious one, which is just mining these gemstones, or killing the mobs that appear here. You can mine these all around, and if we look in the bazaar, you can get these from mining and killing stuff. And, they do sell for a decent amount. Now, that's kind of a very obvious money-making method, but it does actually generate some decent coins. If you just want to play around with the new update and do the quests and stuff, you will still be making a bunch of money. But there are better parts to this update. Before we get into it, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 9,000 subscribers, and every little bit helps, so please subscribe. And let's get back to the video. Okay, we are now in the jungle area. And now we're going to be looking at an item called Sludge Juice. It's pretty useful for the forge and could just give you a bunch of money if you do it correctly. And there's a pickaxe called the Jungle Pickaxe, which when you're mining in the jungle, has a chance to spawn those sludges. So when you mine around, a sludge will eventually spawn, and you can just kill it with any weapon you happen to have on you. And if the sludges are not spawning properly, then all you have to do is just switch lobbies. So just exit, and then go right back in. And then find a new spot to mine in, and just mine around like you were doing earlier, and eventually some more sludges will spawn. And if they don't, again, that just probably means that you're in a little bit of a glitched lobby. Sometimes that happens, and you can just switch lobbies again. And when you see after mining for a little bit, then more sludges will spawn, and you'll see that that gives me sludge juice. Oh, and one more thing, if you do want to boost it, you can use the Hound Pet. Yeah, the Hound Pet's finder stat, even at uh, Epic, will boost it for some reason. Uh, you should probably get it to a higher level, mine is only at 17, but that will still boost it a little bit, so I'll probably be using that, uh, or my Mithra Golem. Okay, so I've been going for five minutes, and now I've got 27 sludge juice. That would mean that our 27 is 97,000 coins in five minutes, plus the 1,000 will round up to 98,000 coins. And that's only five minutes. That's a little over a million coins per hour, and there definitely are more efficient ways you could do it. Like, I did not have uh, max mining speed all the time as I was walking in and out of the range of other players and stuff. You could definitely do that to make your setup faster. And also, I think I'm on a pretty high ping right now. And that definitely contributed to some like little lag backs while I was mining, which was kind of inconvenient. So there are probably, you get more per hour. And I've seen people get more per hour, but that's what I got personally. So yeah, that actually can be a rather efficient money-making method. And our final money-making method is actually just using the bazaar. You'll see that a lot of the prices of these new items are very, very volatile. Like, if I look at the fine ruby gem, like it says, there is a pretty big margin in terms of what the buy and sell offers are. So there's definitely an option for a lot of bizarre flipping that you could do between these gemstones because they are still pretty volatile, as most things are after an update, because people are just going in and doing sell inventory now. That's basically what I've been doing with gemstones and hardstone the whole video. So you can see why sometimes that can get pretty volatile. So, Bizarre Flipping is also another good way to make money from this update. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.